Welcome friends, here's another video from stocksdeveloper.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how the communication between AV broker and auto trader takes place. Uh, this is primarily, target, primarily targeted for the users of auto trader, uh, you know, to improve their understanding and help them better investigate any issues that they may face. So let's quickly start. Uh, I want to keep it short, uh, but I think it's still going to be a 15 minutes video. So bear with me. Uh, there's two types of communication that happens or two way communication that happens. First is a communication between AV broker and auto trader. So the direction is from AV broker to auto trader. What happens over there is so you all all the functions that we provide, for example, you know, functions like placing an order, canceling an order, or squaring off a position, right? These functions internally what they do is they convert all the input parameters into a simple line and write it to a text file. Uh, it's a CSV file available at a predefined location, which is known by AutoTrader. So calling place order internally, what that function does is all the order details that you have given are converted into a single line of data, comma separated values and written to a file. AutoTrader keeps an eye on this file. And as soon as it is modified, it simply reads up the commands and executes them. Now, this is one side of the communication. The other side of the communication is the flow from auto trader to AV broker. So there are other functions that we provide, which gives, which gives you the portfolio details. So for example, the status of the order pending and filled quantity of the order, or in, in case of position, uh, the net quantity of the position, the PNL and so on. Okay. So these functions uh, what they do is they read all these details from a certain set of files which are again predefined and auto trader what it does is every n seconds it's it fetches the portfolio details from your trading platform like upstocks or kite or whatever it's been set and writes it to these predefined files so calling get order status for example the function internally what it will do it will go to a file it will read that file, find that order ID and see what its status and it will return it back to your code. Okay. It's as simple as that. That's how it works, right? We are actually going to look at it in detail. Now, before we do that, I want you to take a look at this particular article. I'll be giving links to all three articles in the description of the video. So th this is where we have given the files that are used for communication. They are available at this particular path. Okay, and the sample format is also given here. So let me just open it quickly. Yeah, you can see, you know, the command, uh, what is the type of the command, then, you know, what is the first column, second column, third column, and so on. Okay, there are in fact three sheets. Uh, one is for the orders.csv, then you have platform orders, uh, which means, you know, the data, the status of your trading platform. And then you've got platform positions, which is the status of your trading platform positions. Okay. These orders are the ones that are, or these commands are the ones that are coming in from your AV broker. Whereas platform orders and platform positions is the state of your trading platform, like of stocks or kite. Okay. So let's move on. Let's quickly dive into the code and, you know, briefly understand the code. Let's just. Let me just say it, it. So the first line, you know, it says include, which means all the functions that are defined inside this files. So all API functions that we provide are included in your strategy AFL. Now let's quickly go down, right? We're going to look at how to debug as well. So uh, bear with me here. We are using a place order function to place an order. Okay. And as you can see, the function returns, returns an order ID. Okay. And okay. There's a mistake. Let me just correct it quickly. Um, yeah. And uh, it's done. All right. So let's quickly do a bar replay. Let me add this particular chart. Okay. All right. Let me just change it to an interval of a minute or five minute or whatever it is. Okay. Um, 
you can use whatever interval you, interval you like what we're going to do now is you know try to understand how the bar replay works and how to debug strategies now before we start with that you know this has been explained over here in this particular article and it's called strategy debugging before we do that you need to understand that there is a concept called amy broker logs or a window called log window this is where it's available you know if you go to menu window and log you know this is where the window is available it has got three tabs one is runtime and that's where your strategies errors are displayed if any trace tab is where the logs from your strategy are displayed so once your strategy starts executing you know any logs that it is printing they'll be available over here make sure you are tracing the output of both internal and external okay one second i'm getting some alerts let me see what is happening okay the client has reconnected it's nothing no big deal now let us learn how to do bar replay so we want to start it we want to you know see how an order is fired so this is where a signal is this is where a buy signal is i am going to run it on this particular area so i'm going to start from here i've clicked it on the chart and i'm going to click the up arrow next to the start date so it means start from here and then end over here right let's just play and see what happens okay you can see let's find the order got placed that's what i wanted to show you here it is an order got placed and you can see an order id this this line was printed by amy broker place order function and this this next line of code is printed by our code the A strategy afl code but the whole point is we've got the order id and we can see what the order id is now if we go to the trading platform or rather uh, to the dashboard of auto trader you can see that order got placed okay one quantity buy if you go uh, let me just reopen it if you go to the dashboard and say trading platform this is where you'll see the snapshot of your trading platform that means in this case i'm using upstock so this is the trading platform snapshot of upstocks you can see over here this is the amy broker order id this is the order id given by your trading platform so in this case this is upstock's order id okay and this is the status of the order it's complete okay so basically this is how you can map the order that was generated from amy broker to the actual order on your trading platform right let us see what happened here okay if i go here now I'll just show you. If you go to the data folder, this is where the files are. Okay, don't modify these files. You can read them. Use Notepad plus plus. It's just an editor, uh, open source editor that you can use. Uh, it's pretty simple and better than Notepad, plain simple Notepad. So here it is. Here's the third order. Uh, or order ID with 4800-3. So this is the order that we just placed. You can see what 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 the place order function has done is it simply has written a, a line of text into this file in a comma separated file format with all the order details, right? So in order to investigate, right, you need to basically see if the orders are being returned to this file. Once it is returned to this file, that means Auto Trader has to pick it up and place them onto the trading terminal, right? Now let us see what to do, you know, if if the orders are not getting placed, right? So uh, I'm going back to the article, right? So there is a function called underscore trace. You know, if you just uh, do a Google search, say underscore trace Amy Broker, you know, you'll get to the function. Now this function is used to print messages onto the trading platform you can print a simple message or if you want to print value in, of a variable you can do that okay you can see that right so very useful for debugging purpose we'll see how to use it right 
So let's say for some reason your order is not being fired. So what we will do is we will write trace functions to understand, you know, how the strategy is executing, how the flow is going out, right? So I have an AFL that I have already put this code in, but what I'm doing over here is I'm first trying to see whether the conditions, the, the code outside the if condition is working or not. So that's why I've written a trace function over here, which says outside the by condition. Then I want to see whether the control flow is going inside the if condition or not because my place order function is inside the if condition. So that's why I've written a message inside by condition calling place order function for a by order. Okay. So if you, if you see that in your logs, you only get them a message saying outside by condition, but whenever there is a signal, even at that time, you don't see this message being printed that inside by condition calling place order that what that means is either the by generation or the logic of the by signal is wrong or you need to correct that or your if condition needs to be modified in such a way that the control will come inside over here whenever there is a by signal okay now we'll see it in action so what i'll do is i'll maybe close this chart or close this indicator i'll clear the log window so that we can start over again and I have another file. I'll show you the code before I move on. Yeah, here you can see I'm printing outside by condition. Then say if by condition, I'm printing the value of the if condition. So I know what is the value of the if condition. And then I'm writing a message saying inside the if condition. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's just close it, add this AFL to a chart. Now, because this chart is already live ticking, you will always see these messages coming. Right, you can see outside the buy condition and the buy condition value is zero. That means false. One means true. Now we will do a bar replay and try to run it over an area which has a buy signal. So let me just quickly do that. Now let me just change this to zero. Right, I'm gonna run it on this particular area which has a buy signal. Or you know, let's just run it over a sell signal. We already have a buy position open, so let's just run it over a sell signal. Sorry, run it over buy signal. I had the code printed for buy, so sorry for that. Start from here and over here. Interval is five minutes because I'm using a five minute chart. I want to clear this particular graph and then start over. You can see, uh, I don't know whether you heard the alert or not, but Whenever the buy condition is one, that's when the control goes inside by condition and you know, the message is printed saying calling place order function. So in your case, if this is not happening, right, if the control is not going inside the if block, then you need to see why, why is it that it's not going inside. You need to print the values that are used in your if condition to better understand, you know, what is the problem? Because those values should evaluate to true and then the control flow should go inside the if block when there is a signal okay so this is how you need to debug strategies obviously there is another way to debug strategies you know which is by using a debugger but that is that feature is not available in the trial version of amy broker so we we are not going to cover that because most of our clients they are using the trial version of amy broker one thing that i want to mention is uh, let's say once you manage to fix the problem in your AFL and then you want to see how the auto trader is behaving basically uh, in this case for example over here you've got an order ID with 4800-4 so what you can do is you can go to the logs of the auto trader they are in uh, and you know before I move these are the platform uh, orders or the platform files which contains your trading platform data if I go to the auto trader folder, if I go to the logs folder and open it, if I go down, 
you know if you just scroll up a little yeah here you can see that this is this is order number five and okay, I think uh, what's it, what was it this was four okay there was another order that got fired because we have a live trading going on so the prices are ticking but four and five are the orders that got fired and if you if you see you can search using that order ID over here you can see over here the fourth one is the one we looked at right so what it is saying over here is over here if you see parsing order so it, it read it from that file then you can see over here is placing an order so it converted that into an order that the upstocks platform can understand and then it said order placed okay publisher id which means the id given by amy broker is this and platform id which means the id from the upstocks trading platform is this and this can be seen on the trading platform so if we go over here yeah this is the trading platform snapshot 391 ending with 391 and this is where where you see ending with 391 Right, so this is how you debug strategies on auto trader. This is, you know, something that you really need to understand whenever there is a problem. So that's about it. I think that sums up our uh, debugging tutorial video. Uh, if you have any queries, you can, you know, write it in comments or, uh, you know, send us a mail. We will be more than happy to assist you. One thing is that I want to mention is, you know, if if an order is written to a file from that point onwards it is the responsibility of auto trader to place the order so if an order is written to that file that i showed you know and you know if there is a problem later on you can look at the support notes or you can straight away send an email to us saying you know order is being written to the file but it's still not being executed by auto trader but if the order is not written to that data file that i showed you you know over here in the data order folder then it means that you know your place order functions you know they are not being executed then you have to look at your own AFL code the developer's AFL code if you come to us you know uh, then it's going to be really difficult because you know uh, we won't be able to help you right because the, the strategy code belongs to you so that's where you need to look at your code and find out the issues once the place order function is being called and the order is written to the file you know you can then come to us saying you know my code is sending the order but still auto trader is not executing it all right so thanks a lot for joining uh, if you have queries you can send a mail to us the description of this video will have all the links that are necessary for you to you know follow up on this that's about it thanks a lot for joining